Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, a tutorial to port and use uh, the Artos in STL32 Cube ID. In previous part, I talked about thread resume and uh, thread suspension and thread resume system call. And I said by using a thread res uh, suspension, you can stop running our thread for uh, an unlimited uh, or an unspecified time. It's better to say for an unspecified time. Okay, but this part I want to talk about another system called thread terminate thread terminate but what the thread terminate system call do stop running of a thread forever when you terminate a thread you can't return thread to the ready list another time by using a thread terminate you can kill a thread forever let's to see an example uh, okay other time assume we have two thread one and two. thread one priority is high and two is normal but I want to kill thread one by using a thread terminate okay let's do build the code And debug the project. Now, if I put a bridge point here and run the code, first Artos jump to this function. Let's do put another bridge point here. If I run this line thread terminate the operating system kill thread one forever now if i delete the bridge point here and run the code the operating system will not return to thread one and always and forever run thread function two because not thread function one has been killed by thread terminate so when you terminate a thread you can't return the thread to the system call by any other system calls okay but when you uh, stop running a thread by using a thread suspend you can return that to radio list another time by using a thread resume so by using a thread terminate you can kill a thread now let's to see another system call thread yield but what the thread uh, yield system call do just stop running out a thread and after calling thread yield artos runs next thread in radio list that has the uh, highest priority Let's to see an example to describe this slide. Uh, assume uh, thread two, like thread one, has priority high. Okay, now at this time, uh, if I call thread yield. I can stop running a thread function 1 and jump to thread function 2 because thread function 2 has priority high like thread function 1. Thread yield doesn't need argument. Just yield the thread that called this function, the system call, okay? Now, let's do build the project and another time divide the project. Okay, now let's debug the project. <clears throat> debug the project, and now I'm in debug mode. Run the code to the soul line. If I yield thread function 
one or to add one the operating system jump to thread function two but after one millisecond return to thread function one another time if i run the artos jump to thread function two okay but let's to change the priority of thread function to another time to normal a priority that is lower than thread one okay and another time build the project now let's do debug the code okay another time put a breakpoint here and run the code the operating system jump to thread function one but at this time if i run thread yield the operating system doesn't jump to thread function two keep to running thread function one because thread function two has lower priority than thread function one thread yield doesn't remove a thread from ready list okay just stop running and jump to next thread with highest priority but at this time because thread function one has higher priority than thread function two another time the artos run thread function one okay in this way you can use thread yield in the artos i give you some information about some system calls in threads but now let's do see other system calls here uh, here in open teach project directory in artos include an artos.h okay here you can see thread create new system call terminate yield uh, suspend resume and wait but for thread draw some other system calls but these system calls are simple system calls for example by using a thread get name you can acquire the name of this thread or state of the thre state of a thread thread is weighted is suspended the state of a thread states of a thread is running ready uh, suspended weighted terminated and uh, these are the states okay when artos runs a thread the state of thread is running when thread uh, is not weighted is not suspended is not terminated but weighted uh, to run in next time the thread state is ready and when you wait a thread state of thread is weighted uh, and others you can find the states here in artos type definitions here this is uh, the state of a thread running ready weighted suspended terminated and error if you want to acquire more information about implementation of the artos and if you want to have more information about the artos i will uh, i recommend you to see this tutorial in my youtube channel Here, in 58 parts, 
you can find a lot of information about implementation of an articles. Okay, I extremely recommend you to see this tutorial. Okay, not just porting to STM32 QID. Uh, this tutorial is a simple tutorial. I was I want to just I want I want to just introduction the artos uh, at this tutorial. But if you want to acquire a lot of information, see this tutorial. But let's do back here. There are some other system calls. For example, by using a get priority, you can acquire the priority of a thread. Or by using a fit priority, you can change the priority of a thread. Give the ID of a thread and change its priority. Okay? Or you can get the stack size of a thread. Or by using a get ID, you can get the ID of a thread uh, that you call this function uh, from where okay but these are simple functions uh, run them by yourself uh, okay this was some introduction about thread system calls in the next part I will just start to talking about semaphore in the Artos I will say you what is semaphore and how you can semaphore in this articles. Okay, thank you very much to see me and see you soon in the next part. Thank you very much.